Hello, today we're going to talk about the comparative and superlative forms of adjectives. Well, the aims of this presentation are to make the student familiar with two ways of comparing adjectives, the comparative of superiority and the superlative form of adjectives. Also, to explain the rules of formation for the comparative and superlative of adjectives. And finally, to provide some practice for the theoretical explanations. Ok, adjectives. As you know, adjectives are words which normally describe nouns, things and people. Let's have a look at the examples you have on the screen. Wheat is very resistant to pests. Valencian farmers are very careful with crops. The land they cultivate is quite small. Ok, now we are going to have a look at the first type, case A, which is the comparative of superiority. When do we use the comparative of superiority? We normally use comparative to compare one thing, action, event or group with another thing, action, event or group. We also use it to say that things or people are unequal. This means that one has a quality which is superior to the other. Let's have a look at the pictures you have on the screen. Here we have two babies, Pete who is three months old and Mary who is three years old. So we have two entities and now we are going to compare them. If we want to use the adjective young, we would say that Pete is younger than Mary. Ok, now let's have a look at superlative. We normally use the superlative to compare somebody or something with the whole group that she, he or it belongs to. So, basically one entity is selected from a group as having a unique quality. Let's go back to the screen. Here we have Pete, who is three months old, Laurie, who is two years old, and Mary, who is three years old. If we want to compete Pete with the rest of the children of the group, we would say Pete is the youngest of the three. Ok, now let's have a look at the comparative and superlative information. There are three main ways to form the comparative and superlative of adjectives. Case 1. The comparative is formed as follows. This year the yield crop is bigger than last year. And the superlative would be my pumpkin is the biggest of the fair. Ok, case number two. The comparative, organic crops are healthier than those treated with pesticides. And superlative, organic crops are the healthiest. Case number three. The comparative, organic crops are more resistant to weeds than genetically modified crops. And the superlative forms, from the crops we cultivate in this area, rice is the most resistant to adverse conditions. Now we are going to have a look at the formation of case 1 in more detail. For one syllable adjectives you have to use for the comparative the adjective plus er plus than. For example, oranges from Valencia taste nicer than oranges from California. So you have two entities, oranges from Valencia and oranges from, from California. To form the superlative we have the plus the adjective plus est. For example, oranges from Valencia are the nicest I have ever tried. Ok, for two syllable adjectives ending in Y, for example, silly, busy, healthy, pretty, heavy, we normally use the following. For the comparative, we use the adjective plus ER plus than. For example, clay soils are drier than lime ones. For the superlative, we use the plus the adjective plus S. Potatoes are the easiest crop to be grown. Finally, for case 3, for most other adjectives of two or more syllables we use for the comparative more or less plus the adjective plus than. For example, our crops are more resistant to pests than yours. Or we say using manure is more beneficial than using chemical products. Right. For the superlative, we would use the most, the least, plus the adjective. Our crops are the most resistant to pests, 
or using manure is the most beneficial method of fertilizing the soil. Be careful because for some adjectives we use both ER or more or less. For example, quiet, quieter, quietest, or the more quiet, the most quiet. Okay, now we are going to have a look at some peculiarities in the formation of the comparative and superlative of adjectives. If the one syllable adjective ends with an E, you just have to add R for the comparative form and ST for the superlative. If you have a look at the examples here, we have large and larger and the largest. Wise, wiser and the wisest. Okay, if the one syllable adjective ends with a single consonant with a vowel before it, we have to double the consonant and add ER for the comparative and EST for the superlative form. So have a look at the examples on the screen. Big, bigger, the biggest, thin, thinner, the thinnest, and fat, fatter, the fattest. And now let's have a look at some irregular comparative and superlatives. There are adjectives which form the comparative and superlative in a different way. These are called irregular comparative and superlative adjectives. You have the table on the screen. So the adjective good, well, forms the comparative form with better and the superlative with the best. The adjective bad and the other badly form the comparative with worse and the superlative with the worst. Little and few, half, less and fewer for the comparative and the least, the fewest for the superlative. Much and many have more and the most. And finally far has two forms, farther or farther and the farthest, farthest. Right. And now we are going to do some practice. We are going to compare two types of trees. In the two following slides, you have information about white oak, okay, and the blue oak. So you have information about the scientific name, common names, height, fire tolerance, longevity, the acorn, sprouting, and size. What you have to do is study this information carefully and then complete the sentences in this exercise. Compare the blue and the white oak to complete the sentences below with the right form of the adjective in brackets. Right, so, the first example says, the blue oak leaves, blank, long, short, than the white oak. The white oak is, tall, small, than the blue oak. The blue oak tolerates brass fires, well, badly, than the white oak. The blue oak lives in temperate sites than the white oak. The acorn of the blue oak matures fast and slow than that of the white oak. The white oak has many or few common names than the blue oak. Okay, and here go the solutions. The blue oak lives longer than the white oak. The white oak is taller than the blue oak. The blue oak tolerates brush fires worse than the white oak. The blue oak lives in more temperate sites than the white oak. The acorn of the blue oak matures slower than that of the white oak. And the white oak has fewer common names than the blue oak. And this is all for today. Thank you very much.